everyone, Big Polly back for some Blu-ray hunting. Yes, today we are off on a little adventure. We are hitting up as many HMV stores as I can get my little mitts on. That's right, it's the great HMV bargain bin hunt. Oh, yes, baby. Uh, I worked out we're probably doing four. I can't stretch to another one. Yes, it'll be too far out of my way. But yes, we're going to hit up, uh, hit up Westwood Cross. Then we're going to scoot over to Canterbury. Then we're going to whip up to Lulu and Claire's hometown of Maidstone. And then we're going to finish off at Blue Water. I decided to do Blue Water last because it's open later than all of the others. Whereas all the others close at like six. Blue Water, I think, closes at nine. So that should be good. Yes, uh, it is 25 past 10 at the moment. So starting a little bit later than I wanted to. I wanted to be out at nine, but I was too lazy and I didn't want to get up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, anyway, uh, we still got time uh, to grab some breakfast and some coffee from McDonald's. So, uh, 11 o'clock they serve breakfast too. I hope they still serve it until 11 and that it wasn't a temporary thing. Anyway, so next stop will be McDonald's for probably maybe a breakfast wrap and some coffee. And then on to our first stop, the Great Westwood Cross. Oh yes, and on my journeys... Um, I won't be videoing in any other stores, so there'll be no footage of Poundland and no footage of CEX. This is primarily an HMV day, and I've got my bag as well for some goodies. Yes, I will actually pop into those stores, those CEX and Poundland, just on the off chance that there might be a bargain or two, but uh, it's primarily HMV today. Right, okay, let's get on the road. Let's get up to McDonald's and uh, get some brekkie and then we'll move on over to Westwood Cross. Hiya. Yeah, hi, can I have a breakfast wrap with brown sauce, please? Breakfast wrap with brown sauce. Yeah, and uh, a cappuccino. Yeah. And two uh, hash browns, please. Is that everything? That's it, yeah. Okay, Thank you very much. Hello. Anything, thank you very much. Um, no sugar, thank you. The, uh, the hash browns in there as well. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Okay, so I have my breakfast trap with brown sauce, of course, plus my cappuccino. Let's get munching, and um, I'll see you down at Westwood Cross for our first stop of the great HMV bargain. First stop, Westwood Cross. Let's go and have a look. Right, let's have a look on the uh, the discount wall first before the uh, the bin itself. So we've got quite a few here. We've got uh, a tin tin for two pounds forty nine. There's a three D one there as well. Uh, Always, which I picked up a couple of weeks ago. That's three ninety nine. American Animals, which was one of the Odeon screen unseens me Lulu and Claire went to see. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, what else have we got here? Battlestar Galactica for $2.99. This is probably the TV movie from the original series on playback there. We also have Ben-Hur, uh, Blacklist, the complete fourth season. That's not bad for £5.99 for, for a complete season. Uh, Breaking In with Gabriel Union for £3.99. She's currently hosting uh, Britain's Got, uh, America's Got Talent, I think it is. What else have we got here? Captain Underpants. Uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon for £7.99, so they've got two of those still books. Plus some Chucky there, I think the Cult of Chucky. Um, Den of Thieves, good action heist movie for £3.49, that's pretty good. Uh, so we've got here, we've got Dracula with Laurence Olivier. Uh, Elysium there. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas Metal Pack or Iron Pack Stroke Steel Book. Some Ghostbusters stuff. Uh, G.I. Joe. Hail Caesar with uh, Alden Ehrenreich and George Clooney. This is from the, the Cohen brothers. I haven't seen that actually. 
Uh, also, we've got some Audrey Hepburn here collection. A couple of movies. Looks like three movies there for seven ninety nine. That's pretty good. All sorts of stuff in here today. Uh, we've got House of House of Cards seasons. What's that? Four and five for nine ninety nine. Oh, the first four seasons. I mean, that's not bad actually. Plus, we also have the Tom Hanks, Robert Lang, Langston uh, collection there, all three movies. Uh, oh, yes, and we have that uh, that still book for two forty nine. I can't remember what it's called now. And uh, we've got some 12 Monkeys down here, uh, both the series and the film. Plus Trolls and Tremors Anthology, all five movies for £7.99. I've only ever seen Tremors 1, I suppose the... Uh, the the sequels are probably pants. Got some Super 8. Take Shelter is a great film with Michael Shannon. That's really worth it. I've got a, a collector's edition for that one. Some Star Trek steelbooks there. Uh, so Star Trek Beyond. And we got uh, Slender Man. Apparently that's really bad. Okay, we also have Searching and some Resident Evil in 3D. Riviera, a complete first season. That's not a bad price for a TV series. It's a very recent TV series. And Passengers there. Some Ouija for $5.99. Looks like the first two movies. Uh, what else we've got here? And some Noah there. Uh, the Mummy. Oh, yeah, the Tom Cruise. That's the still book uh, in, with a 3D. That's not bad. And up here we've got Atomic Blonde for £2.99. That's pretty good. Really good price. And also King Kong vs. Godzilla for £1.99. That's probably the cheapest I've seen in, in the bargain bin. Talking of the bargain bins, right, let's have a look see what we've got through this lot here. It's all over the place. Uh, there's a couple of DVDs thrown in here as well. So up in the air, I believe that's called... So we got uh, there's a couple of steel books I see here. Uh, yes, Rampage 14.99, including the 3D. Didn't really much like the cover on that one. Where are we? Um, yeah, it's a bit of quite a selection. Madagascar, Immortals, uh, Incredibles 2. Some Miami Vice, see that's DVD, that's not Blu-ray. We've got some Home Home Again. Uh, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider the Steelbook, $14.99. Got a couple of Lauren Hardy uh, suitcase collector's case things in here uh, with the DVDs. Uh, obviously First Reformed there. Uh, Monsters Inc. Some Star Trek Beyond. Star Trek IV Steelbook. They've got quite a few of these Steelbooks in most of the HMV stores they're trying to get rid of. They need to lower the price though, $7.99. They need to lower it to about $3 or $4.99, I think. Uh, we've got a Drift, which I picked up a couple of weeks ago. Some more Star Trek. Okay, right. Okay, so HMV1 ticked off the list. Yes. Um, quite a lot on the wall in that HMV, but not a lot in the bargain bin itself. Uh, but uh, I know for a fact that the bargain bin in Maidstone and Canterbury is bulging. But uh, no, they don't seem to put a lot of stuff in the actual bin down here. They just stick it all over the wall. But that's okay. That's all discounted, so that's all good. I did pick up three titles. Three titles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, so um, we're doing good already. And it all come to only about a tenner, so that's good. <coughs> right, okay, let's get on to our next HMV then, which will be Canterbury. That's right, a bit of a bigger one, so uh, a bit more rummaging around in the old bins. And uh, I think they've got like a double wall over there, so hopefully we'll be able to find some different stuff than that they had down here. They did actually have the Breaking Bad white box set. Uh, not the green one, because every, every store has replaced them with the green one. But uh, yes, it was DVD, unfortunately, at 11 99 Otherwise, I would have picked that up, because I know somebody wants that. But anyway, we shall keep looking. So uh, let's get on the road, get over to Canterbury, and 
let's have a look at HMV number two. Okay, so we're here in Canterbury, the second store. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so straight to the bargain bins. What have we got first? The Roddenberry Vault, twelve ninety nine. And we've got some Allied there. There's a lot of Star Trek in here, mixtures of the movies and the still books. Uh, but we've got Hotel Transylvania two as well. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, Captain Phillips for three pound forty nine. Really good film. Rough night, yeah, we've all had some of those. Uh, we've also got Preacher Season 2. The last lot of these had floaters, disc floaters, but uh, that seems to be okay. But I'm not sure if to pick that up. we got the, uh, what have we got here? We've got Captain Underpants and The Interview. Uh, Dazed and Confused, never seen that. There's a, a real big selection here. Yeah, see more steel books. Seven ninety nine though. Grown up salt. Yeah, more uh, rod and brevals. Uh, so Riddick. Some Chucky again. I feel pretty. So does Pauline. House of Cards. Eighty nine. Okay, I thought I said sixty eight. Eighty nine. <laughs> Uh, and we've got those Fear and Loathing steel books or iron packs. Jurassic Park Collection, $14.99. I better call Saw, I can see there, the uh, the double. Scout's Guide to a Zombie Apocalypse and the Shrek Collection. Yeah, let's have a look around here, see what we've got. I can see Always. Goosebumps, some Godfather, Adrift. There's some iRobot, a couple of iRobot seasons in here with uh, Rami Melek. Mile 22. Plus we have Public Enemies, Hansel and Gretel. And Ted Collection, limited gift set. Uh, comes with a Thunder Buddies t-shirt. Probably won't fit me, but hey-ho. Got some grease down there, some more Star Trek. Uh, G.I. Joe, yeah, more Star Trek. As above, so below. More Star Trek. Some more Chucky. I think they've had the Curse of Chucky and the Bride of Chucky in the in the bargain bins. And maybe the Cult of Chucky as well. We got Fury here, Brad Pitt, brilliant film. The Walk, 390, 349 with a nice slip. Uh, Transformers Age of Extinction with a nice lenticular. I think that might have been in Poundland before. Uh, they really do like putting the uh, the old lenticulars in the bargain bins. Tintin there as well, the 3D. Uh, Coral Reef 3Ds. Lots of these like 80s collections as well. Some Spider-Man, Ride Along 2. Last House on the Left. That I don't think I've got and I haven't seen it. Yep, some more Indiana Jones. Ben Hur, Pitch Perfect. Get that lot out of the way. Yeah, another load of random stuff. There's another Ted box set there. Looks like a Hitchcock box set as well. Let's have a look down the bottom here. Inside, I think that's Inside Man, Jawbone. I have the interview, yeah. Picked up from Poundland previously. Okay, yeah, American Animals, 349. Yeah, Mile 22. The, uh, the Kung Fu Panda Collection, more iRobot. Not bad, at 7.99. Uh, this is mainly a DVD uh, been here but there are a couple of blu-rays in here uh, the bad neighbors box set the double box set from here to eternity the star trek collection which i think i paid about 50 quid for this some more star trek but uh, most of the rest is dvds in here 
Okie dokie, a couple more bins down here. Uh, mainly all DVDs. So I've got a bit of a selection of American Pie, Friday Night Lights. Lots of Laurel and Hardy suitcase collections. Mr. Selfridge, Abbott Costello. Quite a few box sets. And on the wall here we have uh, the Star Trek collection, the Kelvin collection. Plus they have a lot of these Preacher Steelbooks for season one. Uh, I would have considered buying one of those if there was going to be Steelbooks for the other seasons, but I don't think there is. And we also have Legends of the Fall for £2.49, uh, which is a brilliant uh, price. Rosemary's Baby as well. Brilliant. Okay, so we are done here in Canterbury. It's half past two. Got a bag of goodies. Uh, I picked up uh, two from the bargain bin, one 4K and three from CEX. So really well, done really well there in Canterbury. Okay, so time to move on to store number three, which will be in Maidstone. So this will be a bit of a trek. So um, probably about an hour and a bit. Yes, right, let's get on the road then and I'll see you in Maidstone. Let's check out Maidstone's HMV then. Okay, so lots of big box sets here, True Blood. I think that's about 50 quid, so not much, very discounted. Uh, we've got some Johnny English here in the bins, uh, Social Network. What else have we got? We've got Sisters, we've got some Battlestar Galactica, 21 Jump Street, Eye in the Sky, oh, Emoji. Uh, Salt for £3.49, pretty good. Uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, £7.99. What else have we got? We've got Mile 22 down there. A lot of familiar stuff that's in most of the other bins. Yeah, Battlestar Galactica. Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, they've got some Purge as well. I wish it would be just uh, in nice order, really. Just gets chucked in here. So we've got Ghost, Den of Thieves, All is Lost, which I picked up a couple of weeks ago. Some more Star Trek. Uh, what else we got? Oh, dig down deep, more Star Trek. What's that? Uh, the Boat That Rocked, £2.99. Pretty good. White House Down. Uh, Ted, yeah, the Ted 1 and 2 box set there. Stratton. Okay. Mm, can't say I've heard of that. Spider-Man. There's some DVDs mixed in as well. Super 8. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, yeah, DS9, Mother, it's not bad, still haven't seen that yet. What have we got down here? Passengers, yeah, £3.49, pretty good, with a nice slip there. Let's have a look over here. What have we got here? We've got some Hitchcock in there as well. Secret Life of Pets, 3D, some rings, Ouija, Outlander, okay, and we've got Truth or Dare there, the Cohen Brothers collection, okay, let's have a look in the other bin, mainly DVDs, but there are some Blu-rays in here, Dark Tower for £3.49, it's not, not a bad film, first reformed there, 21 and 22 Jump Street. It's more Star Trek, would you believe? United 93. Mm -hmm. And another bin here. I've got lots of Star Trek Voyager. Various uh, box sets. Dead Silence. Okay. And a lot of unfamiliar titles here as well. What's this? Uh, is that Paranormal Activity, that one? Sunset Boulevard, Wild Child, James Stewart Collection. 
Patriot Games, that's not bad for what, £2.99. Plus lots of 80s collections, 70s collections. The Great Wall 3D for £4.99. Okay, and on the wall here, uh, we have Extent. I believe that's a TV series. A lot of familiar stuff here as well. What else have we got down here? Friday the 13th, £3.99. Big Hitchcock's bo uh, Hitchcock box down there. Hail Caesar. Uh, some Scarface up there. There's a, but lots of Penny Dreadful as well. Yeah. dear me okay so we are almost done Maidstone is done so we've done Westwood Cross Canterbury Maidstone I've picked up several titles from each store and I picked up four three <laughs> from Maidstone including a complete TV box set which I'm very happy with the price. Uh, it is now half past five, uh, just about to kick off to the last stop of the day, which will be Blue Water. So I should imagine it's gonna take a good hour to hour and a half to get there. Traffic's gonna probably gonna be hectic with rush hour. So I should imagine I might probably get there about seven. So there should be more than enough time if they close at nine. Um, I also picked up myself two lucky dips for tonight's Euro Lottery, um, whereas the total is 167 million again. If you're wondering why in a couple of days I'm Blu-ray hunting in the Bahamas, you'll know. <laughs> yes, 167 million. If I, hey, if I win the jackpot, I'll buy the entire store stock of 4K Blu-rays and I'll let my viewers take a pick, whatever they want. I really shouldn't make these promises. Right, okay, let's get on the road. Let's get to our last stop of the day because I'm already knackered. I must have done real mileage today, car-wise and walking-wise. So let's get on the road and I shall see you at our last stop, Blue Water. Oh, God. Welcome to sunny blue water. <laughs> Bugger. Oh, and it's just started as well. I'm going to have to wait here until this stops because I'm going to get drenched. Holy crap. Oh, dear me. Right. Okay. Hopefully I'll pop in there within the next hour. At least my car's getting a good clean. Okay, so it stopped raining. Thank the Lord. So... Let's get into HMV, into blue water here, before it craps it down again. And into our last stop of the day, HMV Blue Water. Let's do it. Okay, surprisingly, there's not as much as some of the bins at Blue Water, which really shocks me. Let's have a look, see what we've got. Okay, so we've got Jack Ryan there, Shadow Recruit with Chris Pine. A lot of uh, familiar stuff across all the stores now. The breaking in there, which I picked up earlier on. Got Ride Along and Ride Along 2. The Mummy 3D Steelbook there, with Tom Cruise. Not as many Star Trek Steelbooks in this one, but uh, the bins are not that big. I'm still surprised. What else have we got here? We've got some titles up here. We've got the Mummy 
original collection there for £12.99. Plus Escobar with Benicio del Toro. That actually looks quite good. Not heard of that one before. Transformers and uh, some passengers there. Uh, Meet Joe Black, some House of Cards, Elysium, a lot of repeat titles, as I said. Hail Caesar as well. Happy Death Day, two for 13. I don't think that should be in there. Well, that's very nice. I don't think I've seen that before. Best of Both Worlds. Yeah, it's got some nice embossing. I look at us on Borg. Uh, what else have we got? White House Down. Yeah, sausage Party. We all like a nice sausage party, don't we? <laughs> what else have we got? Behave. Behave and look at the bins. Uh, Price Mayhem. Some DVDs in here. Some American Pie up there. Lots of Ouija's. Okay, out of Blue Water. Uh, surprisingly, Blue Water's bargain bins was the smallest, I think, out of the whole trip today, which really surprised me. I thought it was going to be like overloaded and yeah, it's not, not that big. Really surprised me. Um, I did pick up a couple of titles from it though. So all four stores today, uh, HMV, uh, the odd one or two I think from CX, did I pick anything from CX? Oh, I can't remember, such a long time ago. Um, I set off at, was it about 10 o'clock, about 20 past 10 this morning and it's nearly half past seven. So <laughs> I've been out all day, bloody hell. Right, okay, anyway, I'm gonna go home now. Uh, today's totals, 15, 15 titles. So not as many as I thought I'd pick up, but the quality titles and I didn't break the bank. That's the, that's the main thing. Fantastic, right, okay. I'm gonna go home now, get something to, whatever, to get something to eat um, because what did I have? I had a chocolate bar midday, but other than that, I had the breakfast wrap this morning and I'm getting a bit peckish, yes. Fantastic. I probably won't upload the video tonight um, because I need to go through everything that I picked up and it's dark. By the time I get home, it'll be about 10 o'clock. So I'll do that in the daylight Saturday and then the video will be uploaded on Saturday. Time to call it a day. Yes, time to call it a day for my trek home. And um, I'll see you tomorrow um, in daylight where I shall go through everything that I've picked up. Okay, so it's daylight. Yes, it's the next day, it's Saturday. It's certainly very different today. Yesterday was all cloudy and raining and torrential rain. Today is quite warm, 22 degrees and blue sky and a bit windy, but I shouldn't have had those baked beans earlier. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, got a lot to go through, uh, 15 titles, so I'm going to first start off with the two main ones that I got. These were releases from earlier in last week that I was going to pick up. So I've picked up Aladdin, the lovely 4K edition of the original animated, look at the gloss on that, and it's also embossed as well beautiful that will go very nicely with my lion king 4k so we can start off the old disney 4k titles fantastic i hope they keep this quality up with all future 4k disney releases and that includes the 4k and the blu-ray so i'm happy i picked that up 
I, of course, had to pick up the new Aladdin, so I was able to get hold of the 3D edition. This was actually quite difficult to get hold of. Um, they only had one copy at Westwood Cross, and it was all, all the red had come off, and it was all silver underneath. Uh, there was a battered, two battered copies in Canterbury, along with battered sausages and all that kind of stuff. And I managed to pick up one pristine copy in Blue Water. So I think because the original release of this, the Blu-ray, doesn't come with a slip, I think people have just gone for the 3D edition. But yes, very happy with that. Um, I haven't seen the film, so I'm looking forward to actually finally watching this in glorious 3D just and um, hoping it's... A bit better than the lion king not that the lion king's a bad film it's just that it's just the lion king <laughs> you go into the lion king just for the cgi really great okay so that's those two main releases done so the next three releases uh were ones that i actually picked up from cex because even though it was the great hmv bargain bin hunt i did pop in some shops i popped uh, popped in some Poundlands. I didn't pick anything up from Poundland, but um, I picked a couple up from CEX, mainly CEX Canterbury, I think it was. Okay, I remember um, reading about this one when this came out. It's Tom Hardy, and he's just sitting in a car for about two hours telling his stories. It's called Lock. Yeah. Um, written and directed by Stephen Knight, uh, writer of Dirty Pretty Things and Eastern Promises. Yeah, so apparently he just sits in a car telling his life story. That should be interesting, especially for Mama Bowman, because she's got a thing for Tom Hardy at the moment. So that will be going on probably pretty soon. <laughs> oh, dear me. Okay, talking of Tom Hardy, I also found this one. Uh, so that was £2.50. I found this one for £1.50, and I do remember watching this once before and liking it. The Drop. Not Operation Dumbo Drop, but The Drop. With also, uh, what's his name, James Gandolfini. A Numi Rapace. <laughs> Numi. Yes, this was something to do with a bar, wasn't it? And some drug dropping or something. He was a like a runner. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Uh, a covert scheme that funnels cash to local gangsters. Yeah, kind of like a robbery as well. So the drop. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see that one again. It's been a long time. Seen this uh, in a couple of stores. I thought, let's pick up some horror. Pick up some horror because uh, I keep seeing this one and I keep meaning to pick it up. The last house on the left. That way. Yes. 2009, I believe this is. 18. It's got two versions, including an extended cut. Too extreme for cinemas, it says. <laughs> From the creator of Friday the 13th and The Hills Have Eyes. Uh, Masters of Horror, Wes Craven and Sean Cunningham revisit their landmark film that launched Craven's directing career and influenced decades of horror films to follow. So I take it this is a remake, uh, 2009. Yeah, well, looking forward to that. Looks good, fantastic. Okay, so that's those done. So now we get on to the actual bargain bin pickups. So there should be, there's five of those. There should be 10 then, okay. Not as many as I thought I'd be picking up, but um, still a pretty good selection here. Um, okay, uh, I love the Coen Brothers, everything the Coen Brothers actually does. And this has got one hell of a cast. It's got Jonah Hill, Scarlett Johansson, Rafe Fiennes, Alden Ehrenreich, Han Solo himself. Well, now that's Harrison Ford, but you know what I mean. George Clooney, Josh Brolin, Francis McDormand. What a cast. Hail Caesar. And it's got some nice embossing on the old slip there. Obviously, it's wacky stuff because it's the Cohen brothers. You can see just by looking at it, it's wacky stuff. So, yes, yeah, so I am looking forward to watching this. Um, 
I remember trying to seek this out when Solo was about to be released because I hadn't seen anything that Alden Ehrenreich was in and I was interested in seeing him in this. I never did. I never did find it, but there he is. Yes, fantastic. Uh, and the good news is I hear that uh, he could possibly be returning to Disney um, for more um, Star Wars adventures more Han Solo adventures on the Disney Plus platform. So that'd be good. I think he'd probably be best suited doing like a um, a run. Um, kind of, you know, the Marvel ones, you know, like Luke Cage and, and Daredevil. Do a series of adventures of Han Solo and Chewie. That'd be really good. Okay, so that's Hail Caesar. This one, I've all, I mean, I've got this. I've got this in my Star Trek box set. But I wanted to pick this up because it looked really good. I don't think I've seen this before. This must have come out ages ago. It's the best of both worlds. And it comes... That's the package. It's just the best of both worlds. It looks like it's a... Like um, a cardboard wraparound in a case. But I don't know if you can make it out. But it's all embossed. All acutus. All of the Borg stuff up here is all embossed. Can't really get a good image. And also Jean-Luc's face as well. So that's really good. I really like that. It's a it really does look good. It's a, going to be a centrepiece, I think. Fantastic. I love that. What else did we pick up? Okay. Um, breaking in with Gabriel Union. Now I'm watching... Amer America's Got Talent at the moment and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure she's a judge on America's Got Talent I'm pretty certain she's a judge but uh, wrong house wrong mum it says so I take it so it's, it's all to do with the break in some kind of breaking in a house uh, she has to rescue two children being held hostage in a house designed with impenetrable security sounds good that was £3.99. Next one uh, is a bit of Benicio Del Toro and Josh H Hutchison. And it's Escobar. Based around the life of the infamous Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar. When a young Canadian surfer, Josh Hutchison. Oh yeah, he's from the Hunger Games, isn't he? Uh, begins a relationship with the beautiful niece of a drug kingpin, Pablo Escobar. He finds his life on the line after being pulled into the explosive and dangerous world of the Escobar family business. Sounds good. Nice slip as well. £3.99. Okay, also had to pick up a bit of Spielberg. And this is actually a Spielberg movie I've never seen. And I've seen this in the bargain bin before, but I didn't pick it up. But I thought, well, this is the great HMV bargain bin hunt. And there's the time to pick it up. Starring Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi. 1941. Uh, also includes the theatrical and the extended version. And I believe this is a very satirical or comedy um, look at World War II or something. But, uh, yeah, 1941, directed by Steven Spielberg. Never seen it. It's also, I think, a screenplay by Robert Zemeckis and Bob Gale as well. And music by John Williams. That's got to be good. That's got to be good. Yeah, looking forward to watching that one. Okay, next up. Um, a bit of Bank Heist. Starring Denzel Washington, Clive Owen and Jodie Foster. Inside Man. £3.99. Perfect picture and the purest digital sound available. That's what it says up the top there. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, it's an action-packed crime thriller. Bank robbers and tough cops and all that kind of stuff. Oh, and Willem Dafoe's in it as well. I like the... Um, Clive Owen's actually getting back into the mainstream movie making um, because 
although you know he was big when he was in Children of Men, he was in that Valerian as well. Um, he kind of like disappeared for a while as well. But he's got a big starring role in the new Will Smith uh, film, uh, Gemini Man. So I'm really happy that he's getting back into the like mainstream movie making. Fantastic. So that's Inside Man. Okay, I picked up a bit of Jurassic World action. And this is uh, this is uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom in 3D. And this is £2.99 with any purchase. Or £17.99. So if you pick that up out of HMV and you didn't have anything else, you've got to pay £17.99. That's a bit silly. Really, I only picked it up for the 3D disc because I've already got Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, but I haven't got it in 3D, so it seemed the easiest thing to do to pick up the 3D disc. Uh, and we just found out that Jurassic World 3, which will be out in 2021, is going to be starring the original cast. Sam Neill, Jeff Goldblum and uh, Laura Dern. We've been, how long have we been waiting for that? We've been seriously waiting for that. Uh, and Jeff Goldblum's cameo in in Fallen Kingdom was a bit nuts, wasn't it? It was all made out on the trailer to look, oh my God, look, Ian Malcolm's back in Jurassic World. And it was over in about five minutes. I hope they do give them beefy roles or main roles in the new film. But uh, also uh, Chris Pratt and... Bryce Dallas Howard are also going to be in the film. So I think this Jurassic World 3 is going to be something quite special. I'm really looking forward to it. But there we go. That's Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Um, I picked this up. I've never seen this. Um, I've heard people talking about it. Kind of like comparing it to maybe American Pie. That kind of thing. Called Dazed and Confused. It says critically acclaimed cult favourite. I can't say I've heard of it that much. I've heard of it before, but I've never really taken much notice of it. Directed by Richard Linklater of the School of Rock. Explores the last day of school and one wild night in the lives of high street, high school, high street? <laughs> high, high street students. High school students in 1976. Yeah, sounds kind of a mixture of maybe American Pie meets Grease. <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely want to give that one a try. Uh, pick this one up uh, also for £3.99. All of these are really good bargains, really good prices. And these were all full price at one point. Damn it. Uh, good cast. Morgan Freeman, Michael Douglas, Robert De Niro and Kevin Klein. Last of Vegas. I love Vegas. I love anything to do with Vegas. Um, I've been there a couple of times. But um, my favourite Vegas movie has got to be Vegas Vacation. I absolutely adore that film. It's so great. But uh, yes, Last of Vegas. So it'd be interesting to see some familiar sights. And uh, a great cast as well. Fantastic. Uh, the last pickup is a TV box set. And I was surprised to see this actually at this price because I looked on Amazon, it's about 32 quid. And then I looked on eBay and it was also about 35 quid. I picked up the complete original series of Battlestar Galactica for £16.99. It says, was 39.99, now 16.99. They still had another one of these in Maidstone, this is nine disc, a nine disc box set. And it contains the complete original series from 1978 and also Galactica 1980, plus a load of bonus features. So in a nice sturdy box. So yes, I'm really happy, really happy I picked that up for £16.99, that's nuts. Fantastic. Brilliant. So there we go. So they are the pickups from the great HMV bargain bin hunt. So a lot of the bins, I mean, we only went to four stores, but 
a lot of the bins had the same stuff. So whatever you saw in Canterbury, they pretty much had the same in Maidstone, although there were a couple of other ones as well. So I would have liked each different store to have different titles, but that's too much to ask. <laughs> but yes, I hope you enjoyed it. Share in the comments if you've seen any of that lot and uh, if you've picked up anything really good from the bargain bins lately. Smash the thumbs up on the video. Give If we can get a hundred thumbs up or more, then next month I might be doing the great CEX Blu-ray hunt. Yes, we've done Poundland, we've done HMV, why not do CEX? And the thing about the CEX one is with HMV they're spread out and you can only fit in like four, maybe four or five. The thing is with CEX, they're everywhere pretty much. Um, although there's not one at Westwood Cross, which I'm disappointed about. Hmm. Yes, they're pretty much everywhere. So we can hit so many CEX stores in one day. Fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it likes, get it up to 100 so I'll do the CEX next month. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. And um, I'm going to be resting my feet um, for the rest of this weekend. Yes, I actually did some exercise on this Blu-ray hunt yesterday without even trying. Um, I did just under 10,000 steps and six and a half kilometers. So that's not bad. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Bye.